What's up squad, it's your boy Knockout360 here with another video for you guys. Uh, today, as you can see, I'm outside, everything's good, beautiful weather, you see I got the sleeveless on, so Charlotte is finally trying to catch up with the damn season, I guess, you know. Getting on to the purpose of this video, this is kind of a tutorial, if you will, or maybe not even a tutorial, I'm sure a lot of you guys at this point pretty much know this about your cars. I'm not going to waste your time, no frills, no thrills, no drone shots, no crazy stuff. The last video that I did where I was kind of explaining something, you guys said that it took me like 15 minutes to get to the point. So I'm gonna just get straight to it. The purpose of this video, um, a lot of my subscribers have been telling me about the purpose of using USB drives, thumb drives, and an SD drive to store your music. Me personally, I never quite understood that. I always thought that, you know, just having it on your phone and plugging it in that way was the easiest and simplest way. And I never even considered it, but recently, one of the guys in my car club who drives a 300, a Chrysler 300, he actually puts all of his music on a thumb drive and just leaves it in his car. And, you know, whenever he, he starts his car up, he just goes through his playlist right on his screen. And he's got the big screen just like myself. So I decided to try it out. And as you can see here, I have just your standard USB here. No frills, no thrills, nothing crazy. Just the standard scan disk, 64 gigabyte USB thumb drive. And then here I have just a standard SD card nothing crazy here 32 gigabytes just your basic uh, what are we looking at 40 megabits here the read and write speed so nothing crazy and ultimately the purpose is I just wanted to see if it was worth it and see if it was a viable option for transferring transferring you know hundreds to thousands of songs uh, and artist info and all that good stuff to a thumb drive and just keeping it in your car as opposed to having a um, you know um having hooked up to your phone or whatever so i decided to do that and to be honest with you it worked i don't think that you know that's going to be a long-term option for me i think that it's cool that you can do that but um i think that it's i think it's a good option for people who want, who really want to go that route and i'll tell you what let's go ahead and get into it I have the usb and the sd card here right so the first things first is everything has to be done from inside of here disregard all the junk and the brass knuckles i'm a legal guy don't look at that stuff but as you can see here we got a sd card slot and a usb slot so let's go ahead and actually we can put both of them in well i tell you what instead of doing that let's start up the car i had the door open because it's hot as hell but with the windows open it's just too damn hot out here so i got the air on i got my car idling which i hate doing but hopefully this will be a real quick video so this is on the media screen this may look a little different for some of you guys who have newer models like the 17 and 18 but ultimately the screen should look relatively uh you know similar so you got your usb port up here you got your auxiliary port which i always have plugged in as you can see and normally I'll have a USB cord plugged in, but my auxiliary is plugged in and always plugged in. I'm currently using monster cables, and I suggest that you try to I suggest that you try to use the highest quality cable because that's gonna give you the best sound and the best longevity as far as the cable actually lasting. We got your Bluetooth and then we got your SD. Now the Bluetooth and the auxiliary port I'm familiar with, even the USB I'm familiar with, but only from perspective of hooking a USB into my phone and doing it that way. Now that lights up because at this point it's active and you can go ahead and use it so we just want to click on it and nothing comes up as you can see it's reading the card it's reading and then you're gonna hit play and that's when it's gonna pull it up so let me explain to you guys what I've done here so we go to browse and this is what's going to allow you to choose between the information that you transferred over now before I get into that, what you want to understand about transferring that information to the actual USB thumb drive or even SD card is that so most people are at this point are using iTunes. So what you want to do is instead of just transferring over the song itself, you actually want to transfer the entire folder, the entire artist folder. So as you can see here, I've got um, as you can see here, I've got Tupac Event Sevenfold, Justin Timberlake and Muse. I know those are like completely different categories, but I'm crazy and I listen to a little bit of everything. Instead of just moving over one or two songs or one or two albums, I just moved over the entire folder for Tupac. And as you can see here, that allows me to not only scroll by artists, which we were just on, but it also allows me to scroll by album as well. Now I only have two albums just for the sake of this video. I didn't want to get too, um, you know um over the top here but so we got his greatest hits album then we got an unknown album it's known as unknown simply because that's how it's listed on my computer not because of the the, uh, the um car couldn't read it um 
Tupac's Greatest Hit, once you click on that, it's going to give you a list of all the songs, everything from top to bottom. You can also do a search if you want to type it in. That way I want to recommend that because that takes a year and a day. You can do things in alphabetical order or um, that's just another method of searching. Um, so let's go ahead and click on a song, Two of America's Most Wanted, and that comes up. Ain't nothing but against the party. So I'm going to go ahead and mute that before I get a copyright strike. But yeah, so it's going to pull that up. It's going to pull up the song, the album, the artist, as well as the album artwork as well, which is evident here. So that's good in that scenario. And of course, if you ever want to go back, you would just simply, you can track, you can move through the songs that way. Ain't nothing but. Simply put. Machiavellian. So basically your same, um, your same options and you know settings that you've had with any other input here nothing sim nothing different click on tracks it's going to give you a list of tracks you can go up down and through them info it's going to give you the track number artist title the whole nine here that's quite a lot to be quite honest with you and then of course if you want to go to a new artist you just hit browse event sevenfold justin timberlake and muse and it's going to give you all of the albums if you want to search just by artists there you go if you want to search by song which once again I don't recommend because now we're looking at hundreds of thousands of songs but you can just keep going through there if you want to actually type in the the uh, song itself which once again I don't recommend because that's just gonna take a long time you can do that as well so that's the benefit of that is that instead of having to necessarily uh, scroll through your phone you can actually do it directly from the car itself which you know, some people might see that as convenient. Me personally, I don't see it as convenient because, and I guess I'm kind of telling on myself here, I would much rather have the cell phone in my hand here, scroll and hit it and put it down and go on about my business as opposed to messing around up here. I think it's a little more distracting to be up here messing around as opposed to having my phone and then boom. And as you can see, got a little car holder there so I don't even have to do that I can just come here and then I'm done with that and it's a little more user friendly and intuitive but that is the USB drive there I did want to show you guys that and similarly and I'm not even gonna to have to take too much time with this the SD card you'll hear it click and we'll just wait for it to light up because it has to read it and there you go it's going on and the good thing about the SD card, once again, I moved over the exact same artist, the exact same song, SD card folders. You can name that whatever you want. Tupac, greatest hits. God bless the dead. Boom. And then once again, it's going to move over the song, the artists, the album, and the album artwork. And now you have all four of these options illuminated here. Um, obviously, Bluetooth is illuminated because my phone has Bluetooth auxiliary because I have the auxiliary cord, USB because of the thumb drive, and then the SD card because of the SD card that's in there. And like I said, the same functionality as the USB drive. You click on browse, you can go through the album, artwork, you can go through the albums, you can go through the artist, scroll that way, you can scroll through songs, once again if you want to, or you can go to different folders. So if you've got so if you've got multiple folders on one SD card drive, for instance, you got your rock, you got your rap, you got your country, you can scroll through it that way. Me personally, I don't like this option. Like I said, I think it's distracting just because I got a lot going on up here and I'm constantly doing this, that, and the other. And the screen is extremely responsive, but it's not an iPhone. So when I scroll, I've got to hit the button to go down. I've got to hit it to go up, and I think it's a lot, but I can see why people would mess with it because it's a, it's a really convenient way just because you can have a 128 gigabyte thumb drive or SD card or 256 or whatever and just leave that in your car, and that's all your music. That way you don't ever have to worry about plugging up your iPhone and using your battery and having to scroll on your iPhone, and some people like to text and drive, which I don't recommend. And now as far as the sound is concerned, I do think that, you know, I do think that you get better sound from the auxiliary port than you do the USB thumb drive or the SD card. I still think that that's without a doubt the best sound that you're going to get, especially in my situation or scenario because I'm using the monster cables, right? I want to run through you guys is that I'm not sure about every trim, trim that uh, Dodge comes out with but my particular car has two additional USB ports back here as you can see I got one and two and this is for people in the back seat who want to charge their phones now you cannot use those two ports to actually display anything to your 
your uh, actual um, Uconnect system here, your 8.4 inch Uconnect. You can't use those two drives as drives to actually connect or play music or anything when it comes to your Uconnect drive. Your Uconnect system, those two um, USB drives are strictly for charging. Right, guys, uh, once again, like, subscribe, comment. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And as always, take it easy.